folks, I'm Keith Bowen. This is Hard Rock University. I'm starting the first uh, leaching test with the Eco Gold X. Now that is a field expedient solution for now. We'll let it run for a while. I've got extra batteries in the charger. Okay, it's been six hours. A third of the bottle roll. Take the bottle off. Now this is just rough estimations right now to get our basic parameters. So, I'm not being real precise, for example, I would normally, if I was going to take some stuff out of here, I would want to um, put some more solution back in to keep the um, volume the same. And now we're going to start filtering it here. We'll see how well this filter paper works. And obviously it's going to be slow that way, so let's go ahead and put a little vacuum on it. That filter paper is not doing a superlative job. Take a look in there. And you pretty much got the liquid through. And that's way too ugly for what I want. So what I'm going to do is try settling instead. Not that much. Just let it settle and then I'll decant it later and put it in the specimen bottle to take to the lab. So, we'll let that sit there while this keeps agitating and see what happens. Well, after more than an hour, clearly settling isn't going to work. Now, this is kind of peculiar because it wasn't having this much trouble settling when I first started. So, it'll be interesting to see what the situation is. So, should be enough. Still pretty turbid. I'm not sure what I'm, if anything I'm going to do about that. Okay, so here's the six sample bottles. You can see they look a bit different. You'll also notice that the pH is different depending upon which bottle it is. 
this indicates there are side reactions going on here at higher pH that we really don't want. Not sure exactly what, but we will figure it out. Now here's the graph of the three different samples and these are the first ones here. The blue one was the very first attempt and it's not horrible, I mean it's 60 percent initially. For those who watch the live stream you'll see this graph is a little different. He, he was still in the middle of calibration when I was at his lab getting stuff verbally. These are the final results here. Second test pretty much same. You notice they both wound up at pH 12 but started at less than that. So the last sample number three it's the exact same material as the green line but the pH was substantially less and it also had a lot less of the Eco Gold X in it. So this is a weaker solution. At three hours it got like 78 percent recovery and very little after that. My thought is that the low concentration of Eco Gold X meant that it was depleted by this period of time and there was no more added so it just had nothing more to dissolve with. And because of that we are doing more tests here's the last one right here that I'm doing this is a, a lower pH keep adding eco gold X the other one was at an intermediate pH with more eco gold X and I'll have the results on those relatively soon and I'll be able to uh, make a video telling what that happened but for right now uh, still getting samples to send to the lab and going from there but uh, quite quite encouraged 80 percent recovery in three hours is pretty good so I have to figure out how to get it back out of solution so for now happy prospecting and keep it safe out there